Welcome to Pigeon River Farm, doing farming right. I'm Robert Brown, the owner of Pigeon River Farm. Thank you for viewing. Well, a pleasant afternoon. It's getting on uh, the 9th of January here. I'm out in the pasture. We got our first snow, and I guess we'd have to say I've been saved by the snow. Underneath the snow is the greenest clover and grass I've ever seen this time of the year. The good news is, and it really is going to be a benefit, because I got a lot of experience in this, and when you get an extreme cold snap, we have coming in a few days. So middle of January is going to be, we have a week coming of barely above zero Fahrenheit. So remember, when it comes to this, it's rate of change. It's never change, it's rate at which it changes. And so what we're doing here now is enjoying the snow that we got. We have another snow coming. And in the sub-zero weather is going to be here. Not looking forward to the sub-zero weather, but the flip side of it is if we would not got the snow, the stuff that was already starting to develop, I have seen burned out pastures, hay fields, and others over the years. So it's an economic loss to the farm, ultimately affecting the food chain. So I know some areas to, to the west of us didn't get nearly the snow, and folks to the east of us are getting a whole bunch of snow. Anyways, that is how the system works. So always think about it from not change, but rate of change. If it goes from above freezing with growth to sub-zero, that, and if you had biology class, you know what I'm talking about here, the cells break down very rapidly. If they have a chance to go into dormancy, there's not a problem. So that's the long and short of it. We're blessed we got the snow. The hope is we'll get through the cold patch that we have coming and we'll have an early spring. Thank you for your time and have a great day.